Hi there. I'm Ken Duda, one of the founders of Arista Networks. I'm excited to talk to you today about containerization and how containers are impacting switching. As you know, containers are a big deal. Containers are really changing the way people are deploying their cloud applications because containers are a fundamentally better way to package software. Software comes with its dependencies, but in a form that's very quick and memory efficient to start and stop and upgrade. Containers are great for applications, but what relevance could they have for switches? Well, let me show you a use case where containers could be quite useful in switching. Think about the way a cloud operator operates their container farm. There's typically an orchestrator that controls thousands, tens of thousands, even millions of servers. Each server is identical to the others, running the same software stack. That software stack consists of a Linux kernel at the base with Docker on top of that with some kind of orchestration software provided by the infrastructure group for bringing software on and off the, the box, and then the applications themselves as container images on top of Docker. Then the customer has not just one of these, of course, but potentially millions, as I mentioned. And they all look exactly the same as each other, with the orchestrator controlling them all. Except, if you look at this picture, you'll see that one is not quite like the others. That top-of-rack switch at the top is running its own hardware, its own software, managed completely differently from all the servers. Why is that? Does it have to be that way? What would happen if we just use the same exact architecture on x86 switch hardware? Same exact OS build, same version of Docker, same orchestrator as is used with all of the servers. In that world, EOS could simply be one of the applications running on the switch. And so that's what we've done. We've packaged EOS as a container image so that it can run directly on switch hardware or on server hardware, forwarding packets, managing the ASIC. Let's look at it in a little bit more detail. Expanding the figure, we can see standard Linux running the customer's core server management software, the same exact software they run on all of their servers. This is software that manages fans and power supplies, upgrades the OS, monitors CPU usage and memory usage, and brings applications on and off of the device. The same software that does that for servers will bring CEOS into the switch. And you can see containerized EOS running in the switch. And this is true EOS, the same binary build as runs on all of our switches with our same NetDB database approach with all of the agents sharing state through the centralized database. The way that the forwarding works is that the CEOS container directly controls the switch hardware the same way the EOS software would on a traditional switch. There are a lot of benefits of this approach. Compared with the traditional approach to top-of-rack switching, the customers get uniform management of servers and switches, one infrastructure, one set of management tools, one control system that can take care of not just their servers and all of the server applications, but also the switches and their configuration and their operating system. It also gives the customer full control over the OS stack and the system management functionality on their switches. And finally, it provides them with a native programming environment for any extensions they want to put onto the switch. Rather than having to develop inside the vendor's environment, they can develop in the same server environment that they're used to and run their additional software as just another container on the switch. Obviously, with CEOS, you get all of EOS's features. EOS is a feature-rich, fully functional data center switch operating system. You get benefits like EOS fast reconvergence from routing changes, the route scale of EOS, the software resilience of being able to upgrade just one component or recover from single component software failures, and the in-service upgrade functionality of EOS, where you can upgrade the operating system or just the container without any application disruption. These benefits make CEOS a compelling alternative. But this is not the only use for containers. Containerizing switch software has several other use cases. For example, we're working with Microsoft on their Sonic project, where EOS, packaged as a container, provides advanced scalable routing functionality to the Sonic environment. Another use case is lighter weight simulation. We have customers simulating very large networks creating a virtual instance of every device in their network. By using CEOS, they're able to dramatically lower the cost of that simulation by packing a lot more 
switches, simulated switches, onto each of their servers. Another use case is to help customers get their own software onto our switches. By packaging their software as container images, their software runs right alongside ours. And finally, containerization helps when it comes to providing forwarding functionality in other contexts than a hardware switch, such as within a public cloud VM or within a small multifunction box like a branch office router. By packaging EOS as a container, we can more effectively address those use cases as well. So as you can see, containers will continue to have a big impact in the world of cloud computing, both on servers and also on switches. Thank you very much.